Hey everyone, it's Michelle of Dial M Beauty. Today's tutorial is going to be how I do my contour and highlights. I love highlighting of my face more than I actually like contouring because it's gonna bring out the skin and make it look very vibrant. Now when we're doing this lesson, I'm going to think about the parts of my face that protrude, which is the tops of the cheekbones, the brow bone, and down the middle of your face. So think of your face like a plane and everything that protrudes is where we want to concentrate highlight and right down the middle. Whereas the contour does the opposite. We want to create recess and shadows where we contour. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to start with my favorite palette. This palette is from Smashbox and I've got my contour, bronze and highlight cream right here. You can either do this with a brush or with your finger. When I'm working on my own face, I usually use a finger because it warms the product up. Um, but when I'm working on, on people, I usually use a brush. So it's totally up to you. This is my Deluxe Concealer Brush. I use it for a lot of cream products. It has nylon bristles, so it releases that cream nicely. So what I'm gonna do is, first thing, I'm going to find the bottom of my cheekbone. So let me show you on the other side too, it might be a little bit easier. We're gonna move from the front of the ear and you can feel your cheekbone right up here. A lot of people take this contour way too low into the, the crevice, the hollow of the cheek, or all the way to the mouth. But what you actually wanna do is find your cheekbone and lift it. So this is like a push-up bra for your cheeks. Okay, so I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit. I'm gonna leave it there so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I do use the brush to contour down the sides of my nose. And I start from the bridge and just use the point of the brush. Now, you can see I use a very light hand because really that's all you need. So by no means do I think I have a wide nose. However, when I look at myself in the camera with a flash, the flash bounces off my face and tends to flatten my nose. If I'm doing camera work for a client or if I know I'm going to be photographed myself, this is where contour comes into play because it gives your face dimension whereas if you don't have it, the flash will bounce off your face in sometimes unflattering ways. So I also go down along my jawline and this causes that nice separation definition in the jawline. You can also um, slightly contour. We do this with eyeshadow, but you can add a tiny bit in the crease of your eye to give your eye that definition. And I have, do have bangs on this side of my face. And if you have a larger forehead, um, or if you want your makeup to blend better into your hairline, you can contour as well, just right along the hairline. So those are some easy steps. And now I'm gonna follow that with the highlight. This highlight cream is matte. This is the basis of all my makeup. So again, if, if I know I'm gonna be under bright lights, I do use the matte cream because it just gives us a natural glow to it. Oops, I forgot to contour on this side of my nose. So let me add that in really quickly with the other side of the brush. And being careful to use one side of the brush for contour and the other side for highlight. So I go in with the matte cream. It looks like this. So it's kind of a vanilla color. And this adds light to your face. If you want a little extra, we're gonna go a little extra in just a second, but I'm just showing you the basics. So we go down the middle as well, right here. You see how that catches the light across my face, down my face, rather. And we're gonna go in the cupid's bow and the corners of the lips and a little spot on the chin. It's going to accentuate everything down this way and the tops of the cheekbones. If you want to accentuate the hollows of your cheeks, you're gonna do the highlight just to stripe underneath where you did the contour. Okay, now, next step is we are going to blend. So I'm gonna take a fluffier brush, but this is my Pointy Deluxe contouring brush. It has a nice point and we are going to just sweep down the sides of the nose to kind of down and out. And where we apply our hairline, we're gonna sweep outward. You can also use your fingers. I like to just kind of pat where we did the highlight 
because that keeps the product um, looking nice rather than brushing it away. And then where we really want it in the sides of the cheekbones, underneath the cheekbones, I'm gonna push upward and give that a good blend. And it should be subtle, subtle, but to give your cheeks that nice shape. And we're also gonna blend downward along our jaw. Key is to blend, everything has to blend. What I did skip here, if you wanted to, if you wanted to make your chin pointier, take that contour cream and just do a little on each side of the chin and that's going to elongate this right here. And don't forget your highlight in the middle. The highlight and the contour should always balance each other out. Now, if you wanna kick it up a notch. I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite products for highlighting. Benefit Watts Up, everybody loves this. And this is just a simple champagne colored stick. I just swipe it on. There is a sponge on this end, but honestly, I just find it easier to use my fingers in a circular motion, pat the product in, and slightly down the nose. I don't like too much highlight down my nose, and I usually stop before the edge before the tip of the nose. I don't want to look like I have a light bulb at the end of my nose. And make sure you get just like right underneath this part of the lip. Makes it really sexy in your Cupid's bow. And also we do, I did forget the brow bone. Don't forget the brow bone. I might have to use a little brush for this just to get that area right underneath the arch of the brow and right above it. Again, that's going to catch the light really nicely. I always start with a cream and then follow it with a powder. That way the powder has something to stick to and it makes it dimensional. My favorite powder for highlighting is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I'm going to use one of my eyeshadow brushes, the angled eyeshadow brush because it's just gonna give that nice fluffiness that I want. And I'm gonna dab that in into the tops of the cheekbones. And if you don't have this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, an eyeshadow with a slight pearlized finish is going to give you the same effect. When in a pinch, I'm gonna move on to my fluffy, fluffier brush. This is my powder brush, just for the larger areas where I want a little more powder just do that in the cheekbones too. I love that highlight right there in the cheekbone. And you see that it brings a lot of light to your face, brings light to the planes of your face. It makes your cheeks look lifted, makes your skin look pearlized, helps bring youth and life to your face. So this is why I really love highlight. But the last thing, if you do want to go in with the contour or a bronzing powder, I pre actually prefer bronzing powder over contour. There's two different things I use. My favorite is MAC Give Me Sun, and believe it or not, I can't find it. I lost it somewhere. Or you can just use face powders that are darker than you. This is what I carry in my professional kit. They're just foundations of different colors. And I just go a shade or two. This is about three shades darker than me. And it just creates that subtle contour. You see that? So what I'm using, I'm using one of my um, contour brushes from my old collection, but I still really love it because it's nice and narrow and fits right underneath your cheekbones. This has a little more fluff than the other brush. This brush is better for creams, but you can use it in here as well. But I like that this just has a little more Love to disperse that product. It makes it softer. So if you want a softer finish, you can use a softer brush and just dab in the hairline as well. This way, so when you're in that flash, the flash doesn't completely bounce off your forehead and look blinding white. Then if you wanted to, down the sides of the nose as well. So that is how I do my contour and highlight. 
Thank you for watching. For information on the products that we used in this tutorial, check out the links in the description. And if you like the content, please hit like and subscribe and tell a friend. My name is Michelle and I'll see you soon. Thank you.